Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today, I have some wonderful news for everybody. If you already have a PlayStation 5 and you bought it from the PlayStation Direct through an invite from Sony, you might be able to buy another one. That's right, to all of you who are just hopelessly searching for a new system, really hoping to get that PlayStation 5, following people like Jake Randall and all those different in-stock alerts people for the PlayStation 5, watching streams diligently, doing everything you can, <laughs> well, Sony's working against you because they accidentally resent the invitation to buy a PlayStation 5 to a lot of people that already own a PlayStation 5. That's right, that magical list that deemed you a gamer god worthy of the brand new PlayStation console, they got sent out again. That's how godlike those people are. But in all seriousness, I feel really bad for those that don't have a PlayStation 5 already. And I'm hoping that with this accidental email to people that already have it, hopefully those people have friends Maybe not, but hopefully those people have friends and those friends want a PlayStation 5 or a family member wants a PlayStation 5 and they can get them a system through that link. They're not just buying another one and then selling it on eBay, hopefully. But I feel like a lot of people probably are going to be doing that. So basically, you know, Sony is kind of urging people that own a PlayStation 5 already to take advantage of this opportunity and scalp one. Yeah. So that's great, and what really happened is most likely they accidentally sent it to the same list again, which I don't quite understand. As a person in marketing, it, <laughs> you think this would be a difficult thing to screw up because you can see what lists you're sending to. I don't know what system they use, but the system I use, it's very clear where you're sending the emails, and what they should have happen is... Whenever they have somebody buy it through the PlayStation Direct link, there should be some sort of automatic opt-out from that list. Normally when you send out an automated email list, if it is a nurture type campaign, sorry I'm talking marketing here, a nurture campaign is where you're trying to get people to buy a product. You send them an initial email and then if they click it, you send them another one based on where they what they clicked and all that kind of stuff. But what you should do is when that person either opt-outs or follows all the way through and is successfully becomes a customer, normally they're dropped out of that campaign automatically. You don't have to do anything. And then it will just continue to cycle to the people that haven't bought or haven't opted out or still seem interested in your product, and you don't have to do anything. It's great. It's an automated email system. And that's what they should be using because it's a multi-billion dollar company. What are you doing? So it's really funny to see them make this sort of screw up. And you know somebody must have accidentally just clicked resend to the same list and then went, oh, well, we can't unsend that, unfortunately. So, um... I guess uh, hopefully nobody notices, but nope, Wario64, who is a major video game deal hunter slash retweeter, whatever you want to call them, he tweeted that out, and then a lot of people on Reddit also confirmed, yep, I got the initial PlayStation Direct email, and now I got a second one. So who knows how many people are actually going to buy a second PlayStation 5. It is a very expensive product, but... You can also just flip it or sell it to a friend at MSRP. So, I mean, there's really no downside to just getting another one. I feel like everybody out there knows at least another person that wants a PlayStation 5. Because it seems to be the most wanted system right now, besides the Series X. So who knows? Who knows? I'm very interested to see what happens when these systems are more available and see which system is actually doing the best. But... Beyond that, if you are looking for a PlayStation 5, you know, I made a video a while back saying, when is this shortage going to end? Well, we got news recently, it was just a couple days ago, that they're going to start upping production and selling 22 million PlayStation 5s per year. Now, they said next fiscal year, I don't know when their fiscal year starts, but next fiscal year is when they're going to start ramping up production and start that 22 million figure, so... You know, it 
is hopefully right around the corner. Hopefully by 2022, everybody can get a PlayStation 5 that wants one so people can stop stressing out about it and they can just play video games instead of playing a game to get a video game system because that's basically what it's become. It feels like it's some sort of horrible Easter egg hunt to find one of these damn things for people. They're watching countless streams. They're following a bunch of Twitter accounts. They're doing everything in their power to get one. And even then, it doesn't matter because Sony's just giving it to the people that already have one. Thanks, Sony. That's just great. But... Yeah, and thanks to Aura for pointing this out to me, sending this article to me, and it's just, it's hilarious. It really is. I mean, (laughs) I seriously, like I said, I mean, I've, I've sent so many emails over my five years long career in marketing, and I, I don't understand how they made this much of a blunder for something that is this important to them to get more consoles in new people's hands. Because again, a lot of people think, oh, well, Sony is trying to help scalpers. Sony doesn't care about scalpers. Sony does care about scalpers. We've already had one of their executives get pretty pissed off about scalpers because they don't make money on these systems. And if they do, it's very little money, but I'm pretty sure that the PlayStation 5 is sold at a loss. So they're not hoping that people buy these. Now, Nvidia and all those graphics card companies, they don't care. That's fine. Miners can be buying it. Scalpers can be buying it. They're getting the money for that product. That's where they get their money. Where these console manufacturers get their money is from you buying the titles, from you buying PlayStation Plus, from you buying DLC, all these things that you need to be buying into that ecosystem. That's where they make the money. They lose the money, so you're a part of the ecosystem, and they make the money when you start making purchases when you're already in it. So they don't want people scalping. They really don't. As much as we hate them, I feel like they probably hate them even more. Because, yeah, we want to play video games, but they want to make a profit, and they're a company. And that's the number one thing that any company wants to do. Make money. Kind of a no-duh there, but I feel like I do need to clarify that for some people. Because they're getting really pissed off at Sony and, and people that are trying to help them out and help them get systems. Yeah, so... There you go. That is just a funny little news story I wanted to share with you all. And a little bit of hope because, yes, they will be ramping up production the next fiscal year. And, I mean, 22 million consoles, that's a lot. I mean, even if scalpers are trying to buy them up, that's a lot of systems to buy. So, hopefully by that time they can overwhelm them, the market becomes flooded, and we stop seeing $1,000 or $700. I don't know how much they're going. I haven't looked at eBay in forever. But we stop seeing these exorbitantly priced systems on ebay and people can just go to a store and buy them like a normal human being (laughs) so thanks for watching everybody of course comment down below how you feel about the whole situation of them sending it out to the same people that own one already and yeah let me know how you've if you've had any luck or if you've gotten that email like the video if you guys liked it subscribe for more content and as always have a fantastic day see everybody